When it comes to sales and being in sales, why is it that you need a strong sense of risk and reward, and how can I help you in the future? I'm Scott Sippenbelt. I'm coming to you live from Honolulu, Oahu, on a perfect day to talk about sales, and a perfect day to talk about you on video number 2,500 on this YouTube channel. So here's the thing. I want to tell you a little bit of a backstory about me, and then I'm going to get to the point, which is the lesson. And so what you need to know is growing up as a kid, I had a speech problem. I had articulation disorder. So there's a lot of words that I couldn't pronounce. There's a lot of things that I couldn't say, and I got made fun of. People made fun of me all the time. They said really mean things to me. And so I would hear stuff like, you're not important. Nobody's ever going to listen to you. You should shut up and go sit in the corner. And I got teased all the time. So you know what? I decided, hey, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do stuff, and I'm going to, I'm going to live a cool life. I'm not going to listen to what those people say. And what you have to understand is everything that you decide to do, any risk that you decide to take, people are going to look at you and they're going to make fun of you. They're going to they're going to say things about you that are mean. And you really need to develop a thick skin. And so, you know, I've been putting up videos for five years and nine months and people say some pretty horrible things online. They're a keyboard jockey and they can hide behind the keyboard and they, you know, like you're never going to see them in public. And, you know, I see all sorts of stuff like, Scott, I don't like your round bald head. Okay, cool. I like, I got over that a long time ago. Hey, Scott, you got two chins. They're like, yeah, I do. I do. I got two chins. Yeah. They're like, hey, Scott, I don't like your Aloha shirts. I'm like, man, dude, these are red spooners. They're the best Aloha shirt out there. Are you freaking kidding me? These things are awesome. And like all the time, there's all sorts of people out there that are going to tell you, you can't do it. You shouldn't do it. It's not smart. It's not wise. And you know what? These are not really your fans. These are not the people who are saying, hey, you should step up and do it. And you know, there's a lot of times in your life, you may not have people who are very encouraging. So why should hang out with smart entrepreneurs, smart salespeople, because usually they go back and forth. They're like, man, I got to build you up. You could build me up. We're going to go back and forth. And a lot of times the people around you are going to tell you, you can't do it. You can't do it. So there's like a couple of different scenarios that this happens. So you tell somebody, hey, I want to go into sales. They're like, oh, that's crazy. Then you're going to have to live on commissions and you're not going to make money. I'm like, crazy? How could I not live on commissions? This is one of the greatest things ever. And then you're going to hear people go, "That's that. I just I don't think that you could do it. Well, they're pushing their belief of themselves on you. They're saying, deep down inside, I can't do it. Right? Deep down inside, they're saying, that's not something that I would do. I don't believe in myself enough to do it. And so it creates some problems. So it goes from, you can't do it, you're not good enough. And then let's just say you hit the stride and you find really good success. You find amazing success. It's going to go from, you couldn't do it, you shouldn't do it, all the way to, that guy's a liar, that girl's a liar, and they're a fraud. Because like that's the only way that you could be successful, right? That's the only way that you could find success in your life is to rip people off and to treat people poorly. So it doesn't matter what you do. Like I'm just giving you the example, 2,500 YouTube videos, ton of them. And I'm gonna tell you, no matter what path you take, no matter what you decide to do, you're gonna screw up. So this morning, this morning I, I'm on the other side of the island. It's rainy, it's windy, I'm trying to get video shot. I got 21 video shot. I deleted 40 videos that I did not do well where I would start and a truck would drive by or I would start and there would be a bunch of noise or it would start pouring on me. It's not always easy. And so this is why you gotta really have a good group of people around you who are gonna say, hey look, whatever help you need, I'm here for you, I believe in you. I think you could do it. And hey, like we might have never met, but like if you message me and you're like, hey, I just need some inspiration right now, I'll send you a message, hey, you know what? You can do it as long as you're not doing something illegal or something dangerous to your body, I'm gonna encourage you, go for it. Hey Scott, I wanna get into sales, fantastic, what do you need? I got 2,500 videos, I'll point you to the right list. You know, hey Scott, I wanna be an entrepreneur, fantastic, I got the best books for you. That's the type of interaction you should have and that's the type of sort of safety net, for the lack of better words, that you should be looking for for the people around you. And so I have this belief that if I go to somebody and I say, hey, I wanna do something amazing, I wanna do something awesome with my life, I'm gonna write a book, which I'm almost done with, <laughs> it's like on the fourth revision, and someone goes, ah, you can't do that. Like in the back of my mind, I go, you know what? This person needs extra encouragement in their life. This person needs some extra help in their life. Most people are gonna be like, I don't want anything to do with them. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna do a little bit differently. This person needs something to pump them up. This person needs some ability to say, somebody else believes in me, somebody else thinks that I can do it, so I'm gonna go out there and I am gonna do it, right? That's what they're thinking in their head. Somebody believes in me, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna make something happen. But the mistake is, is to think, like when somebody does something, like, oh, you can't do it. The first thing you should be looking for whenever your friends decide to do something cool, as long as it's legal and doesn't hurt them physically, you should encourage them and say, good, good for you. On the Facebook, on the YouTube, on the Instagram, and on the Twitter, anytime that I see somebody, they're like, hey, they hold up their hand and like, I need a high five. Like I just did something cool and there's not enough people in my life to tell me I did it, I'm like, hey, congratulations. 
It only takes a couple seconds out of your life to congratulate people and tell them, hey, good job, I believe in you. I think that you could do it. I know that you can do it. I know that you're there. I know that you're good enough. And then here's what's gonna happen is you are going to have a bad day. Remember risk and reward. The risk is you're putting a bunch of stuff on the table. The reward is the money, the lifestyle, the freedoms you have. But you're gonna have a day where you're like, man, I just, I'm out of gas. I'm out, I'm out. And so you need to have that net of people that like, so when you say, hey, I'm out, someone's like, get up, you can do it. I believe you, right? That's just the way that it is. So as you go through this crazy experiment of life, there's plenty of cool things for you to do. There's always gonna be a line of people who dislike what you say. There's always gonna be a line of people who dislike what you do. I, I tell people all the time, the line of people that hate me is way longer right now than the line that loves me and I'm cool with it. I don't need their approval. The people that I need approval from are from the people that love me and genuinely care about me. The people who just wanna see bad and ill will for me, I'm not gonna worry about them right now. I don't have really any reason to worry about them. They're not really that big of a deal. They're not really that big of a threat. The people who don't like my work aren't my clients. And I understand that, I get that concept. I look at them, I'm like, we're not gonna ever do business together. I mean, I'll, I'll work, I'll give you content, I'll give you information, but chances are pretty good from the interaction we just had, we probably won't do business. I'm cool with that, right? I know my clientele, I know my base. They like a dude who says things straight up, that wears crazy Aloha shirts, that spends a ton of time in Hawaii, that likes to have fun and tell jokes, right? That's my type of people. Super serious people who want to tell me that I can't do it, they're not, they're not my people. So you go find your group. You go find your group of people. Now, for what you need to know, there's a whole list of people that I gotta thank because you know, I'm not self-made. I've, I've been fortunate in my life to have really good mentors, uh, really good coaches. Uh, start, like family-wise, got my grandfather, Grandpa Mel, got my dad, rest in peace in the taco stand in the sky. Got the uncles, got the brothers and sisters, got the mom, right? I got the family. Everybody who said like, look, I believe in you. Scott, you're crazy, 2,500 videos. You can do it. If there's anybody on the planet that can do it, it's you, but you're crazy for doing it because it's a lot of work and it's a lot of effort. Did it, right? I got all the people from Kevin Hogan, Dr. Kevin Hogan, Inner Circle, all my people, Deb Cole, Jason Cisneros, all the people who said you got Deb Cole, you're like, just so you know, she is the person that after my house got broken into in 2014, we're texting back and forth one night, it's like one o'clock in the morning, and she says, Scott, come up with a hundred videos, I dare you, put a hundred videos up, come on, get out of this funk, you could do it. So on August 1st, right around the time of the, the ice bucket challenge, I go, you know what, I'm gonna put some videos up. So Deb Cole, I gotta, I, you know, for real, I gotta, I gotta give you the thanks out here, the, yeah, how's it? Gotta give you the, the special thanks because you really did get me out of that funk. So nine years, five months, and two days of me putting up YouTube videos every single day got me to this point. So last lesson for you, and then we're gonna move on. You're gonna screw up. You're gonna get mistakes. You're gonna fall down. You're gonna get bruises. You're gonna get boo-boos. And you're gonna have to get some Band-Aids, right? You're gonna have to refuel. You're gonna have to reload. You're gonna have to get some more belief in yourself. So a good way for you to do that is from good books, good podcasts, masterminds, close friends, family members, and people who are gonna pump you up. But remember, if you don't have that in your life, find it on social media, find a, a call buddy that you can make that phone call to and say, hey, look, I'm really struggling today. I need some help. You know, I can tell you there's days that I did not wanna get out of bed. And I, I did it like, look, I gotta get out of bed. I gotta go shoot some videos. I gotta upload my video. There was days I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to. I didn't, like you fill in the blank. I did not want to get out of bed. I did not want to go to work. But I had videos to shoot. I had content to put up. I had a reason to get a video up by 6.30 Pacific time every single morning. So I believe in you. Maybe we've never met, but if you need that kudos, just put something into the box down below. Put a description down there like, hey, you know what? I just need a couple of words of encouragement. I'll give them to you. We might have never met and I'm way cool with that. I'll be like, hey, I believe in you. You can do it. Keep going. Adversity sometimes is really tough. There you go. Video number 2,500 on my YouTube channel. You got one thing to do from here, just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it. every time I send out a video, you'll get an update that says Scott Bell Consultants done another fantastic video, probably from a cool location. Today I'm in my second home of Oahu. We'll see you soon. Thanks for dropping by. Aloha.